the basic cloud computing history and some current issues. So basically cloud computing, the idea comes from where the computing is done on a time sharing mode and the resources will be available at any place. So it starts from whenever the computer is first batch processing to time sharing mode and the terminal is attached. So even the mainframe uh, computer itself in the 1960s, the concept of cloud computing. So that cloud computing means your computing resources will be elsewhere and you are using the resources from other places. So that is the uh, American computer scientist Carl Roberts Licklider. They, he uh, envisioned all this concept and uh, basic all the technologies, cloud computing is nothing but lots of technologies available or parallel computing or uh, distributed computing, distributed ways, distributed file system uh, throughout this 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s till today. So it's a basically a agglomerative concept of uh, distributed computing. Uh, we basically, uh, he's a, uh, you know, we know everybody, he's a great uh, physicist. He, for his physics, knowledge to be shown to peers, he developed the World Wide Web, Tim berners uh, So he is the person who make this uh, available cloud computing concept to popular uh, uh, his colleagues and uh, the users alike. And, and at the time of uh, regarding the 2000, there is issues of the Y2K computing, uh, that is if the 2000 approaches there are some problems from Y2K, the computer may uh, malfunction because of the two byte storage of the last two digits of the year, so 1999. So at that time, a lot of ERP comes uh, afresh. At that time, Salesforce, uh, one company, they make the whole customer relationship management software over uh, this distributed computing concept so that the whole application, even the now we call about the software as a service is available on internet. That is a sales. So in 1999, that is the number one company in the customer relationship management software. Uh, they make it available on cloud computing software as a service model. Amazon uh, very from the starts this uh, concept 2002, but uh, that is not very popular. That is men who are developing the cloud computing model. They have co come up with because I personally believe the the popular with whatever the cloud computing we are seeing that is mainly uh, initiated by the two big players so one definitely one IBM a long time back and then later the Google file system that is developed in so they make it publish on the on a paper book Google file system and then the uh, other copy did as a Hadoop distributed file system and come to this so this is the Google has first make another software as a service which is very popular on 2004, remember at that time, Gmail is only invited only. You cannot open your Gmail. You must get the invitation from other users. You can open your Gmail. I personally started Gmail at that time. So that is a uh, first big hit of the uh, software as a service model from Google uh, in year 2004. Remember the Google uh, research engine is popular from 1999. But they come up with the Gmail that is the... Uh, the cloud computing model, mm, 2004, and they come up with a paper uh, to make the ordinary PCs uh, make a rugged uh, distributed file system. Uh, these are all ordinary PC hardware. In 2004, remember the Google didn't publish the uh, did publish the paper, but the not the source code. But they published the paper, and then the one Apache uh, open source community they developed the Hadoop distributed file system. So there is Google is uh, developing along the Google file system. They make the, uh, make the technology available without the source code, but the design and all this, and then others copied it, particularly the Apache Foundation, they make it in the Hadoop distributed file system. So nowadays, whatever we see, the Facebook, at the time Yahoo, they all developed on this low cost uh, Linux machine, Linux machine, uh, and Google also uh, make the this Linux is a uh, to be change one and they make their own system and everything they make their own. So that is the reason their hardware is also uh, mass producible like PC hardware and 
their operating system they make their own from linux and everything their technology so that is the reason they make it, they deploy the massive computer resources so at that time you can see the 2004 onwards uh, the actual the cloud computing comes to the user from the from the gmail this is the history of hadoop hadoop is nothing but a copied version of google file system by apache uh, foundation and uh, yahoo at the time uh, uh, was bigger than Google also they runs on uh, these two clusters of thousand machines. And here I wish to mention that Google file system, the Google file system, the Amazon copied with S3. Uh, Hadoop is a Google file system copy. Amazon copied in S3, S3 is still available. This is a Google Cloud Storage. Uh, then the Microsoft is late starter, but now they have come up to the number one. Number two, number one is. Uh, Amazon in cloud computing uh, front end. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, the Microsoft came late, but they are now positioned as number two, and Google is the third. The three, three big runner of the cloud computing platform. Others are also there. Uh, this is uh, 1960s. I have started from this talk, and the cloud computing has come more or less now towards the software as a service, and then I am coming to the, the function as a service. All this is coming. Here, uh, this is infrastructure as a service. It is only available right now from the mainly available from uh, Amazon, who who, develop, who deploy who give the service in three areas, whether Google and uh, Microsoft mainly uh, working in platform as a service and software as a service. We told you that the most popular is Gmail, like CRM, the Salesforce, and all these kinds of software as a service. This is a typical market share. The Amazon is still the highest because even the NASA and very big companies, uh, they have definitely, uh, uh, they, they don't use their private servers for the uh, deployment of information. They all hire the AWS and uh, their customer engine and all these things they come, goes to the AWS. So they have this popular choice. Then uh, Microsoft Azure, uh, mainly it is a platform as a service not infrastructure as a service, this is all, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, mm. and then the Google, the three front runners, others are there, uh, IBM also there, Salesforce, though it is a 3%, but they are the market leader in CRM, so uh, Hidoku is one of the, like we give you the free resource, uh, you can deploy your app, that is a uh, subunit of the Salesforce. This is cloud infrastructure market. Same slide that is the 2003 Amazon still hires Microsoft and Google. Uh, this is uh, the same information I wish to highlight is S3 and EC2. S3 is a simple um, object storage and EC2 is the engine. Uh, this is Amazon's thing. And uh, Google, uh, though come out the sales software as a service, Google is always interested in the ad market, they do not want to first get the infrastructure as a service market. So they come up with the 2008 the Google App Engine. Now this is the uh, typical software engineer, this is the low cost area and a lot of all the securities and all these things are issues are uh, addressed well in Google App, App Engine. Then uh, Microsoft uh, is there, this is a software as a service market. Docker is uh, one kind of thing that I will discuss later. The Docker is nothing but the image of your application in the, uh, the server in the internet space. So that your all applications together, which running such a as a remote, not from your machine, uh, maybe your app. Every app uh, must have some uh, background uh, activity as a server and all these things. That is uh, kind of the Docker service. So that is available now, uh, this Docker service is available for all three platforms. This is, uh, I must, uh, Oracle is still now, if not a major front runner. Amazon, uh, AWS is, uh, that's uh, to mention that RPD, uh, that is uh, prediction as this thing. Uh, this is Microsoft Azure. This is uh, one good slide, I felt that this is a deployment model, so any cloud service, 
we have to first address is whether how much deployment model and what is the service model. Deployment model uh, mainly how we deploy your services. If you go for private one, that is the highest cost, right? so that you have to only very big companies can maintain the private cloud. Uh, public cloud is uh, very any startup they generally go for the uh, public cloud. It is uh, very easy to start, particularly Google. Uh, basically, Google it is easy to start. AWS and Azure also giving the more or less um, the Microsoft Azure and uh, Amazon, they are also uh, giving the facilities, but Google is the cheapest, private is the most cost. The hybrid is uh, big companies, they maintain hybrid. The uh, major portion of the secure portion they maintain in private and other things the public and the community. This is the deployment models. Every uh, Mainly the public model is the startup that I think. And the service model, uh, the software as a service, that is the most sophisticated one. I started with uh, CRM as a, as a sales force and in 1999 and the most famous is Gmail from 2004. And this is platform as a service. Uh, this is available from all the platforms. The infrastructure as a service, the market leader is uh, Amazon. And Microsoft and Google is not a big player in there. So, Generally, very big companies, they may take the infrastructure service from Amazon and they run their private cloud on this. And also, there are some uh, eucalyptus, one particular, the open stack, there are some uh, Linux source code is available. So, you can make your own uh, AWS compliant, AWS is the famous infrastructure service from uh, Amazon, you can uh, develop it. That is the open source software, free. But AWS, you have to pay price. Uh, and this is the characteristics of the how you see the security and what are the other criteria we discuss. Uh, mainly this infrastructure is the most basic, but, but nowadays most of the software as a service is the uh, basic concept right now. Salesforce, Netsuite, and here uh, infrastructure at Microsoft Azure is there, but the more is tied, it is here in platform itself. Here, the infrastructure, you have to maintain server and all these things, you can buy a server. SAS is the same diagram, I mean, database, you generally have no SQL database, also SQL database. SQL database is, uh, MySQL is an open source, free so from Oracle, it is available. Mm -hmm. Google is also giving the free SQL, no SQL service. Operating system is mainly, you can get a, as the infrastructure services are Windows also, but generally they are on Linux based. So, infrastructure you have to manage all these things because it is, you, if you have to manage, you have to pay, the, you have to have engineers and like this, so it is very costly to maintain. Now, more or less, the software as a service is less cost to run. This is the latest model is coming, it is more advanced, uh, it is between platform as a service and software as a service. Uh, these are the models, these are slight distinction between software as a service and functional as a service. It is certain portion of uh, uh, control you can keep it. So this is one. These are the, uh, you can remember this like GitHub we all know, GitLab. Uh, these are the docker service, that you, how can you port your application in the internet space. Uh, Kubernetes is one particular, this kind of, how to manage your application, your uh, backend applications mm -hmm. in internet. Uh, these are all the basically the platform service. These are the uh, famous softwares uh, like Office 365. As a uh, software as a service, Slack is is used in uh, software development. Oracle, the cloud, SQL, Azure, these are big seller. Amazon EC2, this is infrastructure as a service. So you can buy a machine with everything there in infrastructure as a service with Amazon. This is costly service. Okay. This is same thing. I. I mentioned the software as a service, you, everything is managed, but definitely uh, uh, security, you have to trust the security from your 
service provider. One big thing about this, uh, this you, you can lock in to a particular venue. So you, it is very difficult. If you have chosen a software as a service, you have chosen your uh, vendor is Google. Later on, if you want to transfer it to you know, Microsoft or uh, Amazon, it is difficult. So everything because they are software, codes and everything will be difficult. So, uh, but uh, that is when you have to take a consultant view or you have to take, uh, choose which service provider will take. This is, I told, the private cloud is very costly, and public cloud is uh, least cost effective, hybrid, very big companies they maintain both hybrid. Private cloud, definitely security is better, control is better, predictable cost, this uh, scalability is different because it's very costly. Uh, financial market, uh, say credit card, debit card, they can use for this. They generally use also mainframe computer, but they can use uh, uh, the private cloud. Public cloud versus private clouds, it is mentioned here, one of the main issues is connectivity, internet fibers and private networks. So it generally runs on this, uh, suited for less confidential, so confidential. So big companies, they can maintain the private clouds for their own employees. Uh, the best hybrid cloud provider is definitely Amazon is always the number one. Then Microsoft, Google, Cisco is also there. This is basic comparisons of the main uh, of the public, private, hybrid, and community. Scalability, public cloud is very high. If you just add uh, price, you can uh, scalable is very quick. And uh, one thing that is, uh, these are the examples. These are costly, community, and uh, this is cheaper. These are the main highlights of this slide. I have told you this is the market share around more than 30 percent. This is more than 22 percent market share. This is 10 to 11 market uh, percent of the share of the market share. Uh, basic. Uh, this is the particular brand name, Elastic Beanstalk. Uh, same thing available the cloud service app uh, These are the name only s3 is very popular this is object storage like a pen drive sort of thing uh, what is it available in pen drive you can s3 is compatible with this same thing is available with microsoft and google this is the amazon web service is the number one in the cloud competitive market uh, all the big companies like airbnb netflix pvc facebook spotify LinkedIn, LinkedIn from Microsoft, even LinkedIn is uh, originated outside Microsoft, later on it take over by Microsoft, NASA, they all choose the AWS. This is how a typical configuration as AWS, mm -hmm. uh, everything is controllable, uh, everything you can add, AWS is a, uh, every facility is uh, there. This is Amazon uh, storage. This is this storage. You cannot use it at a runtime uh, like virtual memory. There, you have to go for these kinds of memory. Uh, so that various stages of memory uh, in Amazon, you can get it. Same concept is here. Like object, you can store it Amazon S3. So this is various classes of storage service. You can buy it from Amazon. The basic differences is EC2 and ST is the cloud web service, it is application, and uh, this is the only data storage. It is a REST uh, interface, this is one protocol. This is the uh, latest serverless facilities available from uh, Amazon. This is Lambda function. This is not the Lambda function as typical in Python, this is a name given by the Amazon. This is, I told you, the eucalyptus. This uh, is elastic utility computing architecture for linking your programs to useful system. This is 
is uh, deployed from 19, 2009 onwards. This is a open source uh, Linux source code. So that you can take at least three Linux machines, three CPUs, to make a AWS compliant Amazon Web Services and it's free. Because Amazon Web Services from uh, Google is costly, but you can, uh, within your lab, uh, it, it, uh, uh, teaching communities, say, say IITs or NITs or any teaching community can make use of three Linux machines, make it into a totally cloud. Amazon, AWS, or S3 compatible uh, cloud in their own places. This is a very useful software. It's the same, uh, this is not available definitely with Windows. With Windows, we know basically uh, it is not Linux. Internally, they may I take ideas for the Linux, but uh, Windows, this kind of facility is not available. Windows mainly focused on the software as a service model. Google is also software as a service. Only Amazon taking the whole spectrum of the issues. This is I told you in 2004 that Google comes up with the Google file system and then, uh, then the Apache open, open source community, they make the Hadoop file system and they, in the Facebook, Yahoo, they take the, this file system but mainly the inventor definitely is Google. Uh, so right now, uh, Google uh, only problem is Google file system is uh, basically design issues. Uh, the Google uh, do not let permit to others use it. Uh, open source community they have a compatible product and all the startups, 99 percent more startups are using these uh, utilities for their open so their product and services are available on the internet at cloud computing from this uh, actually which is invented by Google. So that's it. This is Google App Engine uh, architecture. Uh, they, are, they are also very good in the platform as a service model, but infrastructure service, I told you they have limited support, limited support. This is another uh, term uh, is coming, the FOC computing, and this is basically, uh, basic cloud is basically innermost portion of the internet, and FOG is the outer layer, and basically right now, a lot of IoT devices is available like our mobile, and our smart watches so lots of computing can be done here also and so that less uh, uh, data to be traffic to cloud so latency is uh, whenever you go to cloud if all the data goes is cloud and get it summarized it takes much uh, time so this edge computing and the fog computing they summarize the data uh, particularly say they summarize the data over uh, one minute or uh, five minutes as center only summarize data to cloud. So this is a interesting term which is uh, coming uh, that the FOC computing, edge computing. This is uh, basically IoT devices. Most of the uh, right now are mobile, uh, the smartphone, uh, you can uh, uh, like GoPro camera as you can say this is IoT device. This is uh, Google uh, number three rank. I've told you this is the Google is right on number three rank. Uh, gap is quite uh, good. With Microsoft and Google, Microsoft is around 30, Google around 11 and 12. But the uh, Google uh, have everything is developed uh, their own, and their security is also a good. Good amount of security is there, like the Gmail, mm, and. Uh, this is there and most of the thing like developed by google like map to use particular algorithm uh, how to process the passive amount of information in a distributed manner this is their algorithm and the others have copied it so like gfs this is a google this i described this is the edge computing uh, other it is diff distinct from cloud computing it's a edge computing is uh, from IoT devices that they collect data and the processing is done at edge so the less data traffic to the cloud. This I mentioned. This is a distinct between cloud and uh, edge computing. Mm -hmm. Only thing is the edge computing less bandwidth requirement, automated scalability. These are all taken the OZU open standard. Cloud computing, a lot of benefits are there. One is cost effective so that 
any startup they want to be interested in the service they don't have to buy the their internet and everything so they take the service from either google app engine or from google or the amazon or microsoft so it is definitely cost effective but there's some negative points are also there no software you have to do not have to buy the software earlier uh, around 2000 uh, early 2000 and you have to buy a particular uh, license of something which is pretty costly one uh, so these are the benefits of the cloud computing you don't have to buy the software physically you have to take only the service and you pay for this one but the negative point is the lack of support so you have to be locked in in particular service security issues definitely there this is the pulse of cloud computing vulnerability attacks is there until now this is a private network vendor locking i mentioned limited control yeah network connectivity if your particular server is located in particular data center uh, at particular place if that particular have some cataclysm on this if there's a problem like uh, earthquake and all but generally this google and amazon they maintain their distributed server concepts in one place is affected by a, uh, like this kind of natural calamity the other sites is 500 different thousand miles away you take care so that is issue no such issues this is a uh, comparison between aws uh, and the google cloud uh, microsoft as your uh, google is the well established and is a less costly this is the uh, cloud computing promise uh, that is more or less uh, day by day the more district services will be available and you have to only buy those services and build one applications so more or less it is going to the software as a service model uh, and serverless so that your server may be different places altogether and this way thank you for this is the end of